Hello, and welcome to another edition of Remark Test Corner. Today we will be using the HP ScanJet N6010 along with the Remark Test Grading Edition software. Our software allows the user to choose from 30 answer forms, print on standard paper, read data with imaging scanner and multifunction machines, have a quick and easy data transfer, and easily export to their gradebook of choice. This is the main interface, with the key tabs along the top, as well as an instructor's assistant along the right sidebar. First, we choose a class, such as the one I have here. Classes can be imported from several formats, including Excel and Notepad. After the class is entered, I will choose a test. There are 30 pre-made tests for the user to choose from, ranging in length from 30 to 200 questions, as well as several answering options such as A through E, A through I, 1 through 5, and so on. Remark also gives the instructor an option to enter a grade from a written essay question at the bottom of each test. When the tests are printed, they are automatically customized with student, teacher, class, and test identifiers in the top left, as well as a barcode to read in the information at the top right. Once the test is chosen, the user will print out the forms along with an answer key that can be scanned in with the rest of the forms. I will now click the Scan Test Set button at the bottom of the Process Test section of the software. The HP Scanja N6010 scans at a speed of 18 pages per minute, as well as having a 50 page capacity. As the forms scan, the data is automatically transferred for a fast data collection process. After the rest of the forms have been scanned, it is easy to export the data to several gradebooks and analysis programs. It is also easy to view an image of a student's test. As you can see here, the test data is printed at the top as well as a barcode. The Remark Test Grading Edition software also has eight built-in analysis reports that can also be exported in various formats. The first report I'll show you is the Student Statistics Report. This report gives student scores as well as a mean score at the bottom. Next, I will show you the Condensed Item Analysis Report. This report gives a question-by-question -question breakdown of your test and is very useful for seeing questions that students might have had trouble with. Okay, let's look at question 15, where an overwhelming majority answered the distractor, C. This could be for several reasons uh, that occurred while teaching the class. Let's go to the modify key section, where it is possible to go to the advanced section and give students credit for answering C. Now we can go back and the report will reload and show us that the correction has been made. Okay, as you can see, now C and E are both marked in green. The last report I'll show you is the student test report. This is a report that can be printed out and given to each student. It is a printout of their test where their correct and incorrect answers are marked accordingly. Thank you for watching this edition of Remark Test Corner. If you have any questions or would like to purchase Remark Test Grade Edition, please contact us at the following information, which is also located in the description box below. Thanks and have a great day.